Hey guys, welcome to another Pick a Card. My name is Johanna, welcome to the channel. We are gonna be taking a look at what is coming into your life and what is leaving your life. Um, so yeah, we're gonna see what's going on. I've actually pulled an oracle for what's coming and what's going already. And then we're gonna pull some more oracles and tarot in the reading. So um, yeah, pick your pile. We've got three here. Pile number one we have is the um, Rose Quartz Heart Crystal. Pile two, we have the Amethyst Crystal. It's just like a raw crystal. And then pile number three, we have this um, sphere, this Larimar, Larimar sphere. So take your time to choose which pile you feel the most called to. Timestamps will be down below for you. And uh, whenever you're ready, I will see you in your reading. Hi, pile number one. Welcome. If you chose this pile, you chose this rose quartz um, heart crystal. This is going to be a reading for what's coming in your life and what is going in your life. Um, so I have pulled an oracle here. So this one here is going to be the what's going and this is going to be what's coming. And then we're going to pull some additional cards for both. So let's see what is leaving your life pile one we have surrender to the magic of who you are we all have magic in us even if the mundane even in the mundane aspects of life remember that you are a magical being with a uniqueness and worth that comes from just being you so i feel like what's leaving your life is um this sense of like not believing in yourself, not feeling worthy, um, viewing yourself in a negative light. Like I feel like you're gonna start seeing yourself and the magic that you have to offer of just being you and, and not, some of you could also be embracing like a sense of, um, like if you felt different or you felt, you know, unique in some ways, but not like in, from a more negative perspective, I feel like that's leaving and you're actually seeing the uniqueness as a positive thing. Um, and so I feel as though you're seeing the magic in who you are. You're letting that aspect of that negative view of yourself, letting that kind of go here. Now, what you're bringing in or where you're going, we have star gathering, gathering uh, stars aligned from uh, remembering home and soul family. So there's a deeper, what's coming in towards you is also this deeper connection, um, possibly people specifically as well. Like, but some of you, this is like more of like a spiritual connection more of a um, connection with, yeah, like maybe some of you too, like you could be learning more about astrology um, in some way. But I feel like this is really about you connecting to like a higher power or connecting to this sense of, um, almost like this sense of wholeness. Finding this kind of calm place here for yourself. There's like a sense of stillness, I want to say, with this card as well. So I feel like you're letting go of limiting beliefs for sure. And then you're kind of embracing this sense of spiritual, deeper connection here to something like outside of yourself, something, you know, bigger than than all of us. Right. Um, so really kind of like feeling more connected that way. Some of you might really feel connected to the stars here so what we're going to do is we're actually going to go through each one individually now so we're going to look at what's leaving your life which is this um these limiting like beliefs about who you are and see what we need to know about that we have revenge here we have power we have decision so we have uh mars in uh, scorpio we have moon in scorpio and then we have mars in gemini um, and we also have mars in libra which says choice as well so um there's definitely like choices and decisions i feel like you're making a choice um to 
release these this like this is like something that you're actively participating in um, by choosing to let go of viewing things from a more so viewing yourself sorry viewing yourself from this place of lack of power like you're choosing to step into your power now with regards to this like revenge i just feel like there's it's not really revenge that i'm getting in the sense of um you know doing something negative i feel like what this is is actually like making up for lost time right for all the time that you spent in this place of not feeling powerful, not feeling, not embracing your uniqueness, not embracing your magic, <clears throat> you're stepping into, you're making this decision to step into your power. And so this is you like taking action on things in your life where <clears throat> you haven't um, maybe taken action because of you've been in this more negative um, mindset or this limiting belief around yourself. Like it's like you're taking ownership, you're taking your power back. Um, so what's leaving your life, like again, is this sense of feeling um, feeling powerless or not feeling like you have the capability of being who you are. I also feel too like what's leaving your life is allowing other people to have power over you because you don't feel like you're good enough, right? Let's get some tarot with regards to this message we have the king of swords we have the six of swords and then there's the death card there with that like scorpio energy um yeah you're definitely leaving this behind this is definitely something you're letting go of so What's going is this lack of belief, right? King of Swords is, is mental energy. It's it's air energy, right? Um, I feel like you're being guided away from this, but I also feel like this is like a choice that you've made to move in a new direction, like no longer holding on to stress and anxiety and worry about where you're going, what's happening or how you're going to get there. Like, I feel like you're trusting yourself more. But again, the King of Swords is very powerful. He has a lot of authority um, in his presence here and i feel like with the death card as well coming up it's like this is a huge transformation for you this is a huge letting go and releasing and purging of an old way of being and again i also feel like you could be definitely moving away from someone who maybe spoke ill of you that made you kind of like have these beliefs yeah we have six of cups here at the bottom of the deck so it could be definitely like memories and things from the past or even things from childhood that i feel like you're releasing those beliefs. So you're really coming into this powerful place of, of your power and what you uniquely and who you uniquely are um, and what that gets to mean for you um, in life. And this doesn't have to be that you're going after some crazy like um, goal or dream. It's like even in the mundane aspects of life, you're ma remembering your magic. So I think you're just bringing more magic into your life, but you're releasing this sense of feeling like you're not good enough or that you're not capable enough. So, the, and it's interesting, this pink matches this heart. So it's like self-love, self-compassion. I feel like you maybe haven't had that. And so you're releasing the, um, what's going is again, just la this lack of belief and faith and, um, not feeling good enough in yourself and with that brings in a lot more power so let's see what's coming in with this stargate um, gathering I, for some reason i want to say gathering which is not the word <laughs> um but let's see what this what's coming into pile one's life with this star gathering with the stars aligned remembering home and soul family what's coming in here we have idealism with sun in Aquarius. Yeah, definitely could be connecting to the stars. We have manipulation with Jupiter in Scorpio. We also have loss with Saturn in Pisces and we have um, Jupiter in Capricorn with control. 
Hmm. Some of you are letting go of, or sorry, like what's coming in here is this like, I feel like what's coming in is like a, a sense of, um, this is either like a place of being in the sense of yourself, like where your energy is at, but it could also be, again, your soul family. So like, again, if you're in your beliefs um, around like spiritual beliefs or your, um, you know, just like your beliefs in the higher power, I feel like that you're letting go of, you're feeling more free and more open. You're not feeling manipulated and controlled. You're letting, like, because there's this loss here. So there's this sense of like, letting go of the control of what you think things should look like. There's like this openness. Um, we also have pub publicity here with Jupiter in Leo. Some of you as well are really embracing what's coming in is like you're embracing this sense of um, your spiritual nature and not being worried about what other people think or um, like you're you're embracing this like uniqueness with this Aquarius energy here. Like just really being allowing yourself to be yourself and shine through and like expressing that to other people as well. But you, in that you actually find people who you um, who you want to be around. So there's this sense of like not confining yourself anymore to one specific belief, I feel like as well. Like you're kind of like opening yourself up here, but there's also letting go of people who are trying to tell you what to do and, and what to believe in. We have the six of wands coming in. We have the two of swords coming in and we have the magician coming in. Interesting too, because this six of wands is actually Jupiter and Leo. So what's coming in here is a level of success and people seeing you for, I feel like as well, who you really are and not letting people affect your power or step into your power. It's interesting too, the magician as well is very, um, there's power with the magician, but there's also this sense of um, spiritual nature, right? Like manifestation, creating things. So this could be either your spiritual beliefs, but also the things that you're creating, not letting people get into your mind or get into your head. We have the moon here at the bottom of the deck. Some of you are really also going to start working with like the moon cycles. Um like to manifest and to create. I feel like though there's like a sense of like you expressing yourself in a in your unique way of like your authenticity and it being successful. These are very much tied together like what's going away is this limiting belief of yourself but what's coming in is this powerful place of you believing in yourself and not holding yourself back because of what other people might think. I feel like you're not letting the thoughts of other people kind of get in your head and you're just really trusting your magic. And interesting too, the magician magic, and then it talks about the magic here. So this is really about you. This whole reading is really about you embracing your magic, your uniqueness, and loving yourself for being who you are and not allowing other people to control your thoughts, your actions, and what you believe to be true. Even if it's scary, because I feel like this has been like a fear or something you've kind of held back and kept in the shadows from people, but it's like, I feel like now, you're finding the people who support you or that there's other people like you and therefore you can you feel more confident to showcase yourself like you're putting yourself in the right types of, of environments here where you feel um, supported which is allowing you to like blossom more so keep believing in yourself and Definitely let go of these limiting beliefs that you don't have the capacity to create magic and be magic in your life. Because I feel like you're you're entering a very successful place, um, a very powerful place because you have this belief in self. So let's get a final message here to close this reading out for you, pile one. Final message. This is the Kuan Yin uh, Oracle, the pocket edition. So this is your image. 
We have the Yin Empress. The Yin Empress brings peace, prosperity, and success to her beloved devotees. Your sole purpose includes healing and empowerment of the Divine Feminine, the Yin Empress herself. You gain power, assistance, and untold blessings in following your sole purpose. You are lifted and supported in your sacred work now. Be at peace, you shall thrive. So yeah, definitely tapping into your spiritual nature of things, but again, entering, entering this very powerful place and not being afraid to be who you truly are and what you feel called or how you feel called to express yourself is um, like one of the biggest messages here, male or female, it doesn't matter, but I just feel like you're showcasing a part of yourself that you've maybe kept quiet or felt not good enough in and then with that you're allowing yourself to really open up to your gifts but also really open up to your uniqueness and success because you believe in yourself you believe in your power so that is what i have for you pile one hopefully that resonates let me know down below if not you can check out any of uh, the other piles or different reading i've got lots of pick a cards on my channel as well as some collective readings but uh, thank you so much for watching, liking, subscribing, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Hi, pile number two. Welcome. If you chose this pile, you chose this raw amethyst crystal. This is going to be your reading to see <clears throat> what's coming and what's going in your life. Uh, pile ones was kind of like connected in a way, so we'll see kind of if yours is, but we have an oracle here for what's going and what's coming in your life, and then we're going to pull some additional cards for each. So what is leaving your life? We have... Surrender the habit of people pleasing, speak your needs and be true to yourself. Focus on your own happiness instead of always trying to make everyone else happy. So you're letting go of people pleasing. And what's coming in, we have Orion activation, supernova, recreation, renewal, rebirth by light. So there's some sort of transformation that's coming in, some sort of rebirth, something that's like being activated within you. <clears throat> I feel like it's almost like a portal's opening here. This feels big. These kind of feel separate, but we'll see kind of what's coming up here. So what's leaving? Can we get more on <clears throat> pile two for this? What's they're them getting rid of this people-pleasing habit? Pile two, letting go of this people-pleasing. What else do we need to know about it? We have resistance. So this might be challenging for you. Stubborn energy is kind of coming through. We have lust. And then we have empathy. So uh, we have Mercury in Taurus, we have Venus in Aries, and then we have the Moon in Pisces. Uh, we also have generosity here with Saturn in Leo. I almost feel like um, what's coming through here a little bit with this people pleasing is almost like there's it's been hard for you to release this because I feel like you get a short term gain with the lust like um, it's kind of like I don't want to say impulsive but it's like you do gain some benefit in the short term but it's not long term benefit and, and long term it kind of like depletes you and so I almost feel like this empathy is almost like coming in, especially with like moon and Pisces, it's like being uh, kind to yourself when it comes to like being empathetic to yourself, that like this is challenging for you and um, the releasing of it may be hard. Now I'm also getting too with this Venus and Aries, it could be with regards to like relationships as well, like um, feeling like you Again, there's like this resistance to like letting go of the people pleasing because it does give you temporary relief, but long term it doesn't make you happy, right? So it, it you gain like some sort of short term benefit from it, but it's not. Um, it, there's no long term benefit, and again with this generosity, it's almost like there's this sense of like you being generous to other people, you giving other people what they need. Um, but kind of like bypassing your own needs in the same way, and so I feel like this is kind of like what's leaving and what's what you're letting go of. Um, let's get some tarot on this. Some of you find it hard to speak up about this, I'm getting as well. Or you may meet resistance in other people, and so that's why you've kind of held back. We have the Six of Swords. What else do we need to know? Yeah, Page of Swords. 
And then we have the Hierophant. This definitely could be in relationships. Um, I feel like it's like expressing and talking about where you want things to go or how you... This, this I've heard a very simple example would be like you want a relationship um, but you're kind of allowing other people to run the relationship in the sense of like you're just going with the flow and not expressing what you what you need or where you want things to go um, this also could just be to like anyone in authority or like if there's any like hierarchy of power this could you know this could be in like like work relationships and that sort of thing where it's like there's um, there's people pleasing where you just kind of like let other people run the show letting them you know letting them be happy and stuff but I feel like you have even if it's like work it's like you have a lot of good ideas or you have like an idea of where you want things to move towards that would be beneficial for you with the six of swords like somewhere that would make you feel good and feel more at ease and feel like it's the direction away from like the conflict and the struggle that you're experiencing but you're, you're res there's resistance with that um and so I think it's just like, this is a, this is a lesson. I feel like this is a, a relatively big lesson for you. So you, for some of you, you might even experience this in multiple areas of your life, um, this people pleasing aspect, but I feel like this is really about you letting go of pleasing other people and like making other people happy and then not expressing your needs and what you, your wants out of the situation. I, and again, I just feel like this is like a big, so maybe this is like you've been working on this for a long time. Like there's been struggle with this. And even we have the seven of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So this is something that I feel like you've been working on releasing and working on letting go of, but it's been a challenge, a challenge for sure. You might even feel like it's been like a challenge to even like either, like I feel like the expression piece has been the hardest. Like you know what you want, you know what you should do, but then it's like the actual communication of that is is challenging. So, but I do see you releasing this and learning the lesson and hitting that like next level of the, you know what I mean? Like gaining the wisdom that you need from it. You are learning a lot from this experience, but it's just like, it's it's challenging to kind of like implement and put in place. And, some, and that's usually the hardest part. Like we can see it, we can know it, we can understand it, but then like to actually implement it is like a whole nother ball game, right? Um, so let's see what's going on with this like rebirth energy this recreation this renewal with what's coming in for you pile two what is this rebirth for pile two what do we need to know about this rebirth here for pile two we have mars in libra with choice <laughs> we have uh venus in libra with indecision <laughs> okay so lots of libra energy here and then we have moon in Sagittarius with optimism. Okay. So with this rebirth, there's a choice, obviously. It could be a choice in people as well, or like an avenue of what you want to align yourself or partner yourself with, right? But you're very optimistic that like it's going to go well. Yeah, we have friendship here, moon in Cancer. So some of you this, yeah, like there's, there could be people here. I think it's about like how you feel in this situation. If you're having to make a choice, it's like, does this make you feel good? Do you feel called in this direction to like explore it and um, see where things go, right? Sagittarius is a very explorer energy, but you're kind of being activated here. I feel like there's like maybe something you're being drawn towards. Let's get the tarot and see what comes out with the tarot here. But you're kind of like, <laughs> yeah, look at that. We have the seven of cups. <laughs> So there is indecision here. There's like lots of options. There's a choice here for you of like what maybe direction you want things to go in. I don't really feel like the choices are necessarily bad, but you're just kind of like having to decide. We have temperance as well, which is that Sagittarian energy again. And then we have the two of cups. Yeah, some of you, this could be a new relationship for some of you. But again, I'm just kind of getting with that two of cups. It's like, again, there's this this like aspect of what do I want to align myself or who do I want to align myself with? 
we have the five of wands here at the bottom of the deck so again i just feel like there's a lot of conflict or options or like competing even like th all the options could be very similar or there's like things where there's like they all look kind of good so which one do i want to kind of choose um i feel like this is about choosing the one um choosing the one that makes you feel more balanced or more kind of emotionally you feel drawn to um, the other piece that I'm getting from this as well, Temperance is pouring like two cups into one, right? Like they're kind of like, it's the alchemy. Some of you might actually be picking two things and kind of like bringing them together. So this might not even be about a partnership, but this could be about like having two aspects and bringing these two cups together, right? Like the Temperance has the two cups. And so this is like, um, coming together with now again it could just be like what you want to come together with but it could also be that maybe you're taking two of these cups here and blending them together to make one idea or one like rebirthing something in some way I want to get one more card with this temperance energy it could definitely be love though I'm, I'm picking up strong like relationship energy just in general with this whole thing um, why is this temperance energy here for pile two? Yeah, we have the queen of cups. It's like, what does your heart want? Allowing your heart to kind of your emotions, your feelings to, and it's interesting. Again, we have another two, so two of pentacles. It's like, you definitely have a choice. Two of pentacles can be choice. It can also be like a change, right? Which I feel like with this rebirth energy is just like a change. Um, but I feel like it's like what you're aligning yourself with. And does it feel good to you? Does it feel like it's something you want to explore? Definitely emotional with all these cup energies. I feel like, um, so definitely for, for I feel like what could be coming in is a relationship. I feel like this comes in after you learn this lesson, if that's the case, like relationship wise, like you stop people pleasing and then you start to like, you find a person or options and looking at your options emotionally of what you and who you want to connect with. Um, but you're putting those boundaries in place, right? Like there's kind of this, um, cause I would say with the Hierophant two of cups, like you're looking for an actual like commitment, you're looking for a relationship. Um, others of you, like, I feel like maybe this is, if it's not love, it's like they're not related. I feel like there's a people pleasing boundary thing that's going on here that you're letting, like, you're learning how to stop people pleasing, right? Of what you're letting go is the people pleasing habit. And what you're bringing in is kind of like a rebirth when it comes to um, what you want to connect yourself with and what you want to even like do with your life or what feels good for you maybe creating a life that feels more in alignment that feels like you're connected to your higher self like this kind of more spiritual um connection but it could also be a project of like what do i want to work on and what do i want to like do next and like really birthing that i feel like there's like this rebirth and this renewal is almost like based on your choice of what you want to open up now interesting too temperance can be like um uh, like a renewal type of energy and we do have the renewal and recreation so this could be something that you may have thought of in the past or something that's like but now you would be actually birthing it now you would be actually bringing it to life as well um, let's get a final message here so we have um, this is the Kuan Yin Oracle the pocket edition so we have Nectar of the Lotus um, it says your devotion to helping others has the effect of squeezing of squeezing the heart chakra of the divine mother from her heart drips nectar sweet sustaining life affirming energy that feeds you and allows you to nourish many souls when you are full and well and vital you are able to nourish others you are guided to receive your fill now for your own benefit and the benefit of all this really reminds me of like the queen of cups energy so it's like you're filling your cup that's what I feel like is coming in is like obviously too with the people pleasing like you're not allowing people to drain you right like because you're expressing your needs but then you're also in that choosing things as well with this rebirth choosing things that align with your heart and choosing things that make you feel good right but you get that choice 
And because you filled your own cup, you get to now pour into others. You get to help others. You get to be in a right relationship with other people, be in right relationship with your business, like all that sort of thing, because you are, you're nourished, right? So I really feel like a general, um, a more general sense of like what's, what's coming and what's going, what's coming is nourishment and proper relationship. And what's leaving is people pleasing and draining your energy for the sake of the relationship, if that makes sense. So hopefully that, hopefully that makes sense for you. But I really see you um, starting to become more kind to yourself and just knowing what your needs are and what your, what needs need to be met um, from like a heart space perspective and, and learning to communicate that as well. So that is what I have for you at pile number two. Hopefully that resonates. Let me know down below. If not, you can check out any of the other um, piles or different reading. I've got lots of pick of cards on my channel. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching, liking, subscribing, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Hi, pile number three. Welcome. If you chose this pile, you chose this uh, Larim Larimar, Larimar, Sphere Crystal. Uh, this is going to be your reading for what's coming and what's going in your life. Um, we have pulled uh, what's going and what's coming. Um, they may be related, they may not. But we're going to get additional messages for each and see what's going on. So what's leaving your life? We have surrender your ego. It says cultivate gratitude, be of service to others and come from your heart. A big ego can work against you, but humility will always further your goals. And what's coming in, we have the divine matrix. We have interconnectedness, synchronicity, God incidences. So, I feel like, um, I feel like what's going with, with this ego energy is more of like what, um, like your intention of the place that you're coming from. And it's not that you've, I'll relate this kind of like to my own life. So it's not that you're um, trying to come from an ego-based ego based place, but you're realizing like, I need to put other people, so it would be like service-based business, for example, like in my, in my goals has to not just be only my financial goals, but it has to be the goals of other people, right? And helping, being able to help other people and what I'm helping navigate them through is part of that that goal, right? And so it's like bringing, bringing your work or bringing your actions um, and how you live your life from a more heart-centered space of just like the um, doing things for yourself from a good place, but also for others and not being, I feel like also too like so hard on yourself. So I feel like some of you could be letting this go um, by cultivating a gratitude practice, right? Things that you're grateful for kind of connecting more to your heart in that sense um and then we have this divine matrix so I feel like what's coming in is you seeing how things are all kind of related kind of like big picture um but also kind of this like spiritual um higher power energy like feeling more connected to it or just believing in it further or seeing proof of it let's get some more on this surrender your ego so what does pile three need to know about surrendering and letting go of their ego for what's leaving? What is it that they need to know? We have order with moon in Virgo. We also have Venus in Cancer with birth. And we have discrimination with Venus in Virgo as well. So discrimination is more about like knowing when and where to put your energy. It's like discerning. Um, we also have originality here, which is uh, Mercury in Aquarius. So this feels as though you're kind of like going through a little bit of a rebirth here. But I, I feel like what's leaving is... Um, when you create new things or when you're starting new things being discerning like how you're going about that like when you're trying to manifest and you're trying to create and 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 like access a goal right birthing a goal or birthing the success of that goal of reaching it i feel like you're being more 
discerning as to like how you're going about that and like yes it's it's coming from your heart but it's also like how can we serve others like like virgo energy is very much service to others for sure um and so i feel like this is like not only how you can serve yourself but also how you can serve others so you're letting go of this um the ego when it comes to what it is that you're trying to like create here you're coming at things from just like a new place and I feel like that's actually going to help you um, be more successful here let's get the tarot here for this as well what do we need to know about pile three surrendering we have the three of cups yeah Again, other people, right? What do we need to know about this? Them releasing their ego. And it's not that you don't have an ego at all. It's just the self-centered aspect of it. It's like you have the self-centered aspect as well as what's in it for other people. So we have the Three of Cups, the Chariot, and we also have the Hierophant. Yeah, there's like this like higher, we also have the hermit. So, and again, Virgo energy here. I feel like you're, yeah, it's like being of service more to other people. This feels like it would be related to like, yeah, like a business or like your job or how you do things in your life, being more of service to others um, and the community. This could also be like getting more involved in your community. But I see there being like taking you taking the lead. So you still being the authority or being like the focus. But you put the focus back into the people. It's kind of a weird. I feel like this is like a very specific message. Um, so it's like the more you hold this space for other people, the more you're going to be able to help them overcome their goals and in that the chariot as well is like this success energy so you're actually going to be more successful and have victory that you also get to celebrate with other people so i feel like if you've been not being able to hit your goals or meet your goals it's like how can i be of service within this for other people and kind of taking that intention as well as your own and just coming at it from a different lens and dropping the like self-centered piece of like my goal, like I want to sell things or I want to make sales because I want to make money, right? It's like, well, how can be making sales serve other people, right? It's just having more of that, like more specific intention. Yeah, even like the hermit and then we have the six of pentacles. So it's like, how can I give and support other people while also supporting myself, right? Um, so this is like, I think a reflection thing that you've been going through or you're going to go in through. So I see you releasing the need to just be the sole focus and you're kind of like coming at something from a different angle here when it comes to your, um, your, the direction you take or how you go about. So the goal might still be the same, but it's like got a different intention behind it, if that makes sense. Let's see what's coming in here with this divine matrix. What's coming in for pile three with this divine matrix? Ooh, we have excitement with Mercury and Gemini. We also have Mercury and Virgo with caution. We also have protection with Moon in Aries. And we also have intuition with Mercury in Cancer. So that's a Mercury energy. Bottom of the deck, we have Decision here with Mars in Gemini. Okay, so I feel like, I feel like there's definitely intuitive hits. Like your intuition, I feel like is heightening here. Um, but I also feel like you're excited, but you're also very much protecting yourself. I also feel like this is saying like, pay attention to your intuition because if you're excited about something, but you're kind of getting some caution intuitively, this could be just paying attention to the signs, the synchronicities, paying attention to your intuition, like you kind of starting to do that more when it comes to uh, communication that comes towards you or like what's coming in for you. get some tarot here we have the four of cups 
Yeah, we have the Seven of Swords. And we have the Fool. And then we have the Two of Wands. So this is like giving me the energy of like you needing to be discerning and being aware of what's for you, what's not for you. But also making sure you're not holding yourself back. So I feel like this is where it's like what's coming in for you is like this deeper awareness of when what your intuition is telling you and when to go for things and when to maybe pull back. It's almost like using your intuition in a strategic sense where if it doesn't feel good, you avoid it, right? But if it does feel good, you make a plan on how you're going to go after it. That's kind of what I'm getting. <laughs> um, because I feel like there's like this duality and I mean the Gemini energy there definitely would and there's also this choice energy, right? Which we had decision at the bottom of the deck but we also have this two of wands so it's like you're having to make choices around what to go for what not to go for and I think your intuition is what's coming in that's going to be uh, heightened at this time or just be a lot more clear to you around what to go for what not to go for I feel like that's what's coming in here basically like what's knowing knowing what's for you and what's not for you because I feel like there's going to be some things that you're really excited about, right? With the fool here, like really new things to kind of take action and there'll be synchronicities and coincidences around it. But then there'll be other things that maybe don't feel quite, quite, quite right or don't feel like you're fully invested in. And I feel like that's a synchronicity as well as like paying attention to that feeling and then knowing how that influences your intuition here or how your intuition is actually sending you those signs, signals and its messages from the universe, right? So you're more connected to... The divine your intuition right like you have that deeper awareness and that deeper um access which is coming in for you but it's 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 allowing you to make good decisions for yourself that are in alignment with you and where you're going and what's happening so i feel like that's what's coming in is just this heightened um connection and, and intuition that again is allowing you to discern again like what's for you and like what's what's not for you essentially and seeing how like when you maybe feel like not right about something but you go do it anyway and you go like against your intuition how it's maybe not working for you right so you see that interconnected aspect of it all as well so let's get a final message here for you guys hopefully this reading made sense for you as well you can check out another reading final message for pile three for what's coming what's going You guys got two. This is the Kuan Yin um, Oracle. So these are the two cards you got. So the first one we have Mother Fierce. It says, Mother Fierce is your guardian. Nothing can penetrate the passionate fire of her fearless love. Your safety is assured in the midst of any apparent challenge or threat. No matter how frightening it may seem, no matter how insecure you might feel about taking a step on your spiritual path into more power, know that you are safe, you are protected, and you are loved. And then we also have this one which says princess of the autumn harvest princess of the autumn harvest brings gifts of bounty and blessing for efforts and the actions of the past it's a, t it's a time when the fruits of your labor is ripe for the picking a beautiful blessing is on its way to you now with gratitude mm -hmm. uh, in your heart you will recognize the blessings when it comes to you and it will serve you perfectly be open to receive it knowing it is justly deserved so i think this is this victory here that gets to come in here because you come from this place of gratitude. Um, so by releasing, you know, this self-centered place, you actually gain a lot of benefit from that. Um, and I feel like this mother fierce is almost like, don't be afraid to connect to the intuition. Don't be afraid to listen to it. You won't be led astray, right? Like the more, the more you trust in your spiritual path and your spiritual power, the more you're going to be able to trust it. Um, or the more, yeah just like the more you practice and sit into it and you learn how it like feels and what is for you and what's not and learning those signs and signals you're going to become very powerful and you're going to be protected in that too so that is what i have for you pile three hopefully that resonates let me know down below if not you can check out any of the other piles i've got a bunch on my channel um as well as collective readings 
um, or sorry, you can click, see any of the piles, but there's also other pick a card readings. I don't know if I said that. <laughs> um, and there's lots on my channel, so you guys can check those out too if this one does not resonate. But I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching, liking, subscribing, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.